Hello, good day. I'm Oliver here. Let's see for this uh, turn drive, five axle, roll off dumper truck with crane from LXY RC. How is this one operating? Yeah, let's see. So, uh, first, after receive the uh, radio, it's from factory coming with palladium light. Uh, radio first power on, then directly lift up the cabin. We connect to S XT60 battery. Yeah. Then lock it back. Lifting downside have a bar. That's the bar lifting, and the cabin can lock it back. Directly pushing down to lock. And here, oil tank open, fill up hydraulic oil. Uh, remaining like a half oil tank, yeah, around 70 minimum liter. So this uh, cap do not tight. Only screw in for air vent because in the system at the beginning have air. Oil go out, pushing out the air, let the air vent. So start operation, uh, steering, right stick, left and right, light, and uh, the light, this light, headlight, and the top light, side light, they all control together with the middle transfer case lock because this one only have 18 channel from the radio to control. So not enough channel, so the light with the middle transfer case lock control together. You see here the server also turning for middle transfer case lock. Headlight on, also arm on the crane, light is on. So sound, light and middle transfer case, yeah, that's for the light and the middle transfer case lock, SWF. And uh, remember, SWC, that's the mode now it's at driver mode. If you go back, you go to display servo. Here, condition A, that's driver mode, SWC outside. If you press down SWC, B mode, that will be operation mode for crane. Okay, let's continue. At driver mode, condition A, drive mode, SWC released. SWC released, SWG, that's for the sound. And uh, for steering, right stick left and right. For drive, left stick forward. Go back, second time. And for speed gearbox, SWE, forward, low speed. Middle, middle speed. Backward, high speed. Shifting back to low speed. And uh, differential lock, SWA. Now it is pressing down, you will hear servo turning for differential lock. Differential lock, differential unlock, and uh, middle transfer case lock by SWF. Now it's at uh, unlock, middle transfer case unlock. Middle transfer case SWF up, middle transfer case lock, or exo driver. All exo turning together. Unlock, release, disconnect. So rear exo it's also steering, but this one have the hydraulic screw driven pushing cylinder to push in the oil, lift up the exo, also cut the power. Lift up by SWB. Hydraulic pushing, axle lift up, now cut power, but all still containing. Only lift up, like a real car, lift up, and no power for the rear axle. Putting down SWB, putting the axle down. Continue, drop on the table, stop, now have power. For dumping and roll off the bucket, uh, VRD and VRE first, make sure it's a sliding, VRD sliding to the front to lock the arm for dumping. Now dumping by VRE rising. Okay, it, it can rise in all the way like 50 degree, yeah. And uh, drop it down. During dumping, do not slide in to rear side. If you slide into rear side, the arm will drop 
we are banned, we, the bucket will drop, we are damaged. So for roll off, first sliding by VRD to the rear side. Sliding to the stop position, then rising for roll off operation. In position, then rising for roll off. Higher level, pump running higher, more speed, more power. Now pump, it's uh, around 50% running. That's for roll off all the way to the table and roll it back. So the drive of operation all finished. For dumping, roll off, driving, shifting gear, uh, middle transfer case lock. So also have a look. The cabin inside also have light for lighting up inside the cabin for lighting up. So now we will shift into working mode for operation of the crane. So before pressing down SWC for shifting to work, uh, working mode, first put SWE to middle, this to middle, this to middle, to middle position. Otherwise the pump will start for operation. So press down SWC to change into working mode for crane. Press down. Now, first sliding out the legs, arms, out, SWE now operating the arms of the, of the leg, first reaching out, also right side coming, same time. Okay, all in position, stop, stop, then another one. We are, uh, sorry, SWG now is dropping the legs. Legs come down, SWG pushing forward. After have the support already, then we operate in the crane for safety. You see, for rising, it will rise all the chassis. That's the hydraulic leg with enough power. It's all, all up. Okay, let's continue for the crane. First, must first operate in the big arm up. Left stick pushing forward, big arm means the middle arm rising. Middle arm on the top, then we can lift up the front arm. Right stick pushing forward, lift the front arm. And for rotation, left stick left and right, this one with uh, electric slipper ring and oil slipper ring. So this one can turn it all the way 360 degree with two slipper ring inside. All the way turning, continue. You will see now it's uh, reaching 360 degree. It's always turning, no problem, no wires tangling. So let's reach into the rear side, operating the small arms reaching out. Okay, right stick going to right, small arms reaching out. Rising more, the small arm rising more, reaching out. If you push into left, small arms coming back, reaching out. Left stick for rotation, moving same time. So here, we let's continue coming out. You will see that's two oil channel. One oil channel is uh, uh, control for grab, for, can rotation, one for close. So two oil spare channel available. Let's see how long it's coming out to see the length. Continue coming out. That's mix control, all the hydraulic running with mix control start the pump. Also you can start the pump. If you think it's not enough power, start the pump at lower speed, idle speed. Keep it running and for more power. When you're lifting, also you can do like this to lift up. Uh, from factory settings, it's like uh, you can lift up normally all the arm out, lift up 0.5 kg. But I tested if you uh, lift up 0.8 kg, 1 kg, it's also come down. But for safety, normally we, we try with 0.5 kg. Yeah? So it's all out and rotation back. So for the two spare oil channel, now at working mode, it is controlled by SWB, not connected, I only show you. Servo turning, pump start. That's one spare channel. Second spare channel, SWD. Well open, pump start. Okay, now take it back. So when you finish playing, first 
All the arms take it back, yeah. One more speed. Come in. First, front arm take it back. Second, drop the middle arm. So small arm already back. Rotation to right side of the truck. To be vertical to the chassis. Then, it's vertical now. Yeah, then drop the middle arm. Uh, so first drop the front arm by right stick putting down. When it's in position, we drop the big arm. Uh, drop the middle arm means the big arm cylinder. Drop it to secure it in position. Yeah, now it's in position. You will see from here, the front arm have a bar. It's sitting on the pin. So it's secured like this. After this all done, first we lift up the, uh, the legs. Uh, sorry, legs by SWG. Pushing backward. Legs up. SWG pushing backward. Legs up. Chest is already on the table. Legs coming out one by one. Now right side is also coming. They raising the arms, uh, the legs one by one. After all legs, take it back. We withdraw back the four arms by SWE. Okay, pushing SWE backward. All four arms taken back. Right side already back. Is it coming one by one? in position and stop so now we were shifting back to drive mode now working mode of the crane legs all finished so we will drive release swc horn steering drive away uh, remember after you finish playing the crane yeah do not let the four legs supporting the, the weight of the truck long time, yeah? If you leave it there one night, maybe have bent in something uh, because it's a steel metal, yeah? It's too, very heavy, 15 kg. So do not leave it there for arms supporting the weight. Take it back and as normal position like now. So after playing all, you disconnect the battery. First sound off, light we can leave it. Disconnect battery after finish playing directly. Disconnect, power it off. And then power off the radio. Thank you, that's all the operation of this turn drive, five axle, rear, rear axle hydraulic control lifting and cut power. And uh, with all hubs with reduction speed gearbox, three speed gearbox for gearbox control changing speed and with axle differential lock, with middle transfer cast lock. That's all the functions of this one. Thank you, see you.